Good morning. Oh, what a day, everybody. All right, yes. Am I wearing the Distance Classic shirt two days in a row? You better believe it. Did I put on double deodorant this morning? Yes, yes, I did. Don't you worry, everybody. All right, shout out to, just got an email, Sigrid over in Sweden. Congrats, Sigrid. She says, hello, Seth. I completed my Demore Global virtual 10K today. Decided to do it on the trails as part of my long run. Shout out, Sigrid. You're the first one to email me video clips from the DGR virtual distance classic. Make sure you uh, submit your results, okay? And yes, if anybody else gets clips from your race, make sure you email them to me so I can put them in future vlogs. Congrats to Grid and uh, okay so here's a crazy thing. Remember a couple days ago uh, I was very tired. I'm tired. In fact I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning very tired and I closed out the vlog early. I didn't finish uh, I didn't put all the clips in so I just want to make a note yes I am trying some breakfast options other than the bobo bars. Don't you worry I still love bobo bars but my brother has kind of led me to this notion of um, overnight oats and oat, basically overnight oatmeal and so I'm trying it and actually if you have any recipe ideas make sure you comment down below for overnight oats. Here are some throwback clips to me from a couple days ago grabbing some basic items for overnight oats. I don't know what I'm doing. I just grab. I'm just buying what I've heard. I did a little bit of research, but if you guys have any help, definitely let me know in the comments for overnight oats. As I'm just trying some new. And oh, this is a really this is maybe a little tip of the day. I always, if I'm gonna try something a little more, you know, new to the diet, always I do it early in the training block rather than you know, definitely no, you know, not near like a month close to a peak race. I just, you know, a month out from a peak race, I just stick to what I know and what works for my stomach. Um, so we're early, you know, the next peak race is not until August. So I've got plenty of time to kind of test out this whole uh, overnight oats business. I, Bridget even, Bridget uh, f uh, found a, a mason jar for me as well. So we are all set to go there. And last but not least, before we start the run in the New Balance Rebel V2, once again, from a couple days ago, I just got so tired I couldn't put these clips in the vlog. So I give a little birthday shout out and I was looking for, remember I took out the Wild Horse 7s for, I think it was a third run, but I'm, I'm, I definitely wanna do a Wild Horse 5 verse 6 verse 7 vlog very, very soon from Nike. And so I went to the storage unit to pick up the shoes and to find some trail racing shoes because trail racing season is coming up very, very soon. Pulling out the goods. This is why I hold on to shoes, everyone. There's the, remember that one? The Wild Horse 6? I've, oh. I'm actually interested. I can already see the difference in the collar of the shoe. That was an issue last year in 2020. And then, yeah, it's time. Oh, I cannot wait. So we got the Innovate X Talon G210. This is the shoe that I wore to uh, win the Pikes Peak Marathon last year. We've got the Hoka Evo Jaws, uh, J-A-W-Z is how you spell that shoe. And then I'm looking for the Sense Lab S8SG because actually this publishes May 13th and the race in Spain, in Northern Spain, is one month from today. So I gotta start calculating what shoes am I gonna be racing in in Spain. All about that preparation. All right, we're gonna talk about this back at the uh, back of the house. Also, oh yeah, quick shout out to Johnny. Happy birthday, Johnny. Thank you for watching. 
the vlog over in Scotland, okay? Shout out to everybody. And actually, with the uh, emoji flag, all right, this, this, this flag right here, down in the comments, let me know if you watch from Scotland. Happy birthday, Johnny. All right, let's rock and roll. Oh, so exciting. So I know I'm a little late, but happy birthday to Johnny. Oh man, all the best. And again, I just ever grateful for everyone tuning in. All right, we're going to the gym. Gonna park there, go do the run, and then hop in the gym for the uh, you know an hour or so, um, and then talk about this running game. Would you be interested in going to your first professional soccer game? Yes! AKA football game to all the year, everybody else around the world. Would you want to go tonight? Yes! Yeah? We're going, tonight? we're going to a Colorado Rapids game. And we want to give a big thank you shout out to Alex. Alex watches the vlog. Thank you, Alex, for the Rapids tickets. All right, one, two, three. Thank you! Let's go! So the green jerseys are their signature jersey just for this year or the next two years. The burgundy is their more traditional jersey. I guess you would call kit everywhere else in the world. Boom. We're ready. We're ready. Go Rapids! Come on, go Rapids! Go All right. Boys night out. Just dropped Mama and Henry out. Henry can't quite make it through the game. Here we go. Onward and upward. All right. Go Rapids. Go, go. What I've noticed, so the boys and I have been watching a lot of documentaries over the past month on professional football teams over in, uh, mostly in Europe, and the documentary we're watching right now, what's it called, boys? Juventus, all right, in Northern Italy, right, if I'm not mistaken. But what I've noticed is that they are all about the chanting and the cheering. And there's a lot of uh, scripted songs and cheers in the, I don't, it's not quite uh, as prevalent, I would say, in professional sports here in the United States. So, boys, we've got to learn all the chants and songs for the Colorado Rapids. Sound good? All right, let's rock and roll. And we made it, everybody. Oh, man. Go Rapids. First Major League Soccer game. Unbelievable. Great atmosphere. Gotta say. The fans were into it, and we were playing the Houston... Uh, what was the name, boys? Houston Dynamo. Dynamo. That's right. So, leading 3-1. to one, uh, Just epic. And, yes, the running game. I've heard that football players, soccer players in the United States, what we call it, is that they run 
Is it eight miles, at least the midfielders, that they run eight miles per game? Is that true? Maybe for all the football experts out there, how many miles per game do defenders run, midfielders, and strikers or forwards? Let me know down the, I'm curious. I've heard, it's a lot. So anyway, soccer players, football players, I have a mad respect for your internal endurance. All right, everyone? Question of the day, what is your favorite football team around the world and why and what should be what make your case what team should i be cheering for as i figure out this whole global dgr football craziness that i mean there's just so many football clubs we, we say teams over here i think you guys say clubs around the world so that's right michael all right we're closing it out boys sound good all right seek beauty work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.